Welcome back to another episode of the Leeds United Career Mode Mission Impossible, trying to save them and winning the Champions League within four to five seasons. We are struggling in this first season here with Leeds United sitting in 13th, 32 points, five points clear off of 18th place Bournemouth. We have a game in hand against Brentford. Wolves have a game in hand against us. They could actually jump up to 32 points. We play Nottingham Forest to kick it off. We also have Brighton and Fulham. So all teams somewhat near us. Fulham are 11 points clear. Our mid-table race, it's, I mean, it's looking all right. We could possibly get into that 9th, 10th, and 11th where I consider mid-table, mid-table. We obviously get an extra five. Oh, I can say obviously. We get an extra 10 million if we survive relegation just from me doing that and then an extra five million for getting into that mid table spot let's kick it off here against Nottingham Forest out wide to Francisco Francisco back post for Nanto Nanto finds the back of the net and Leeds United have an early lead it's a beautiful ball by Francisco into Nanto Sinister probably would have scored that. Thankfully, we dropped him completely, and we have the lead. It's 1-0 early. We had the chance to play it to Rutter, but Nato had the easier finish there. McKinney defensive work in the midfield. Nato lays it off for Brendan Aronson, and that's game over. We'll lay it off for Rutter, but it doesn't matter what happens. Georgina Rutter finds the back of the net anyway, and we will find that second goal. It's 2-0 against Nottingham Forest. It's a big result. It's a big win. We have Brighton up next who are in the relegation scrap. They are four points off of not, uh, Bournemouth who actually have a game in hand. So it could go down to one and we could push that even further. We are now sitting on 35 points. We are currently in 13th. Let's get into it and let's see what we can cause. See if we can cause some havoc. Angel Gomez. Oh, Undav, he has space and he's wide open and he has the back of the net. And Brighton have the lead. It's 1 0. Just what they were hoping to produce. So the ball rolling again with the score line. Gomez, Gallagher, Rutter, Weston McKinney. Weston McKinney to level it. And Weston McKinney makes it 1 1 for Leeds United here. Hovalbion facing Arsenal. De La Vega now. Against Malasia, Malasia cart tripping, crossed in, Gomez, second ball, Undav. Deflections help him out, and it's 2 1. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. Francisco Rutter spins, Georgina Rutter to level it, Georgina Rutter does level it, it's 2 2. We have to get the win here. Our top goal scorer, possibly the Premier League's top goal scorer as well, Georgino Rutter. Absolutely getting us back in this game and keeping us alive. McKinney fouled, not given. Outrageous. Gomez is there though. Gallagher is there. Francisco now. Francisco lays off for Brendan Aronson. Brendan Aronson is going to take this himself. Brendan Aronson just wins it for Leeds. And Brighton are deeper into that relegation battle. And Leeds United might be out of it now safely. Brendan Aronson scores the game winner with only a couple minutes left to go. And to say I nearly sweated that to Ben Seguir, that would have been an absolutely awful decision. It's the 3 2 win here against Brighton. Well, somehow they get a kickoff goal, which they won't because Francisco gets it now. And he plays into Ben Seguir. Ben Seguir over the top for Nato. First time volley. It's poor. And it's out for a corner. And that's game over. Never mind. They're going to give me the corner. Weston McKinney. Christensen on the bicycle kick nearly. It's a 3-2 win here against Brighton. It's a massive win. And that should put us safely out of this relegation battle. That will give us an extra 10 million pounds in our transfer budget.
10 points clear off of Bournemouth, who do have a game in hand, but it won't matter. I mean, at most, seven points clear off of the relegation battle. We are now kind of fighting for mid-table, and we could technically possibly overly for him. They do have a game in hand. That game obviously is against us, but obviously not against us at the same time. As far as our players, just to give an update, Rutter does have 21 goals. McKinney has 10. We need to be able to sign him. I need that extra 10 to 15 mil. We only have 27 million. I might have to buy him at the end of the season. As far as the top goal scorer of the league, it surely is Rutter, right? It has to be Rutter. It's Holland. He has 23 goals. Salah has 22. And Rutter has 21 goals. Absolutely insane from Rutter. He's been having a fantastic season. Last game of the episode here against Fulham. If we can win this, it'll be massive as well. Now, Brendan Aronson. Brendan Aronson. Brendan Aronson off the post off a good save Francisco off the defender how is this not us in the lead McKinney on the corner Christensen on the header and Leeds United just have scored the winner it's 1-0 and against the run of play you could say how we haven't scored right before that corner though it's insane but we do get the game winner here against Fulham, and we go level on points, but they have a game in hand. A good ball in from McKinney and a good header by Christensen. And that looks like that was Daniel Jaron Jones on the line, or James, whatever his name is. And he just couldn't get to it, and that is quite literally the second to last head of the game. It's a 1-0 win, Christensen who's kind of been up and down this whole entire season. He scores a winner in three games, three wins, nine points out of nine, which puts us into safety for sure now, surely. With four, five, or six games left to go, I'll take that every day of the week. Now, when we come back, we have Liverpool. I'm actually going to go ahead and just get rid of this Liverpool game. In which we lose 3-2. That's actually quite close. I didn't want to play it anyway. So when we come back, we have West Ham, Crystal Palace, Southampton, and Tottenham to wrap up the season. Next episode will be the season finale. This has all been pre-recorded before the first episode goes out. I can't believe that. I'm so dumb. I need to stop playing FIFA. When we come back, for sure, at least playing these three games maybe simming through that last game against Tottenham I will see that but as we sit in the league currently we are 13th in the league with 41 points four games left to go a game in hand against Wolves in which we can overtake them into that 11th spot now like I said 9 10th and 11th we get that we get an extra 5 million added on to the 10 million that I'm gonna give myself for not getting relegated in which we are 35, I mean, we're not mathematically safe, but we're, we're safe. As long as we don't lose all four games, we are pretty much safe. We have a game against Southampton. We have, obviously, West Ham, who are in that 10th spot. We could get closer to them as well. I mean, not, not much closer, but we could get closer to them. Who do we have? Southampton? Do we have, who's that last game? Tottenham? Who's the other game? Southampton, Tottenham. Crystal Palace, who is in 15th. That will be a massive game as well. So I'll see you on next episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.